I audio recorded my partner and got caught. My 41 and relationship with my so 35F has not been going smooth for a few years. We have an amazing two-year-old daughter and life is chill, but she struggles with mental health issues like major depression and PTSD that prevents her from functioning normally. She has not been able to work for some years and since COVID have lost all of her island friends. Some due to anxiety and not being able to do much outside, some to arguments. Since our daughter came, she has been overflowing with love and we're so happy for her. But she's also struggling more. I do everything, quite literally, from work through anything that requires leaving the house or booking nice things for us as a family. My wife is not satisfied with life and seems to be incapable of enjoying anything due to depression, and I have not been able to drive her to maintain therapy or treatment. She is medicated with the same SSRI for a decade, but we both know it's not enough. She has rage episodes and says the most horrible things you can imagine to me when angry. She threatens to leave, to tell her lawyer I doubt she really spoke to one, but still that I raped her and that I will never see my daughter, and says things that successfully broke my self-esteem. I am now also depressed and don't go out much. I've always had ADHD and am struggling with all of the logistics that keeping things together for the entire family means. I mess up a lot and it triggers her a lot. A few weeks ago in an argument, she yelled that she felt hornier when we met a friend or co-worker of mine and he's more of a man than I'll ever be. But when I brought it up a few days after asking for an apology, she had no memory of it at all. I believed it. When the next episode of swearing came up a week ago, I didn't have my head on straight and started recording from outside the bathroom where she was screaming horrible stuff in her rage, thinking I'd play it back to her and make her see that she should apologize because she never does. Likely due to her fragile mental health, I didn't replay it to her and just listened once to beat myself up over not being able to help her through her suffering. I know she's in horrible pain. Today another episode came and I recorded again, but she caught me doing it. I didn't have reason to record and kinda did it automatically. She was deeply, deeply hurt. She lost trust, pushed me out, and went into a loop of crying and screaming before calling her sister. You might ask, why suffer through it we went through horrible stuff in life together. I had cancer at 35, and she literally saved my life and was always there for me. She gave me a beautiful daughter, and I want her to have us both as parents. I see past the rage, and I know she deserves to be happy. And I don't know what will happen to her if we broke up. I have a good job, I have money, I have no worries about landing on my feet but I will lose them both. I don't think she will survive. She might do something to herself, and I want to try and rebuild. I love her to bits. And when she is happy, she is the sweetest, most sensitive soul I've ever seen. Anyway, I don't know what to do. I have not been able to get her to see a therapist or psychiatrist recently, and I also am not good enough to take care of finding and making appointments for her and taking her to doctors while doing everything to keep us alive and fed. Should I give up on the people most important for me on this planet? Will they be happier without me? How do I help someone when I am simply not good enough at it?